But um, I'm going to pan the things up there. Yeah. So, uh, so, oh yeah, I'll start. I'll, I'll start. We, we have this sort of scale to what's going on here. Uh, you have residential and you have a nice sort of like retail uh, uh, pedestrian corridor that is really working well in terms of, you know, you can compare it to, you know, when you walk down the streets of like uh, Milan or, or Florence, uh, etc. This is, this is rare to get here in Shenzhen. Uh, these pockets of sort of uh, dense but uh, smaller scale development uh, that were really sort of like accidents of the rapid growth of Shenzhen are really special. Uh, and what they're being replaced by isn't necessarily the best thing. Yi 包围起来了还有遗留下来就是这样的村子这样的一个积累对整个社会或者是经济的一个经济链and, and, and the reason uh, that you should keep it, that you should try to even maybe question the idea of you know, bringing in the big shopping mall is what happens to the people that are here? Uh, you know, it, the, you, when you look at the spaces around us, they're not really big spaces. You see, you know, it's, it's 10 o'clock already and people are here. Um, they're not here because they, they, they just want to be here, you know. There's people manning their storefronts because they have customers. There's an economy here, and it's not an economy of the big bucks. It's the economy of the small, the micro, uh, and that's what's going to get lost. Um, when you bring in these big developments, what tends to be the solution is you relegate the, the poor to the periphery. 可是当我们比如说拐一个弯，我们进到这种比较小的巷里头的时候，其实我们看到就是这种第二层次的或者是第三层次的的这种商业，就是在城村这样的一个地里边，其实它是很自由的。You you get uh, the big developments, and who do these big developments uh, attract? Uh, who do they service? They only service like a top five, four, even three percent of the economy. Uh, it's not really for the rest of the people who are not making, you know, a million kwai. Uh, it's, 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 it's a really sad thing to see happen, uh, all because in the name of progress. 
头的时候，或者当我们走出了就是这样的一个这样的一个村子之后，我们可以是完全是另外一个景象。就是说，这个村子其实它跟附近的那个城市的那个呃那个关系或者是内容是完全断绝开来的。呃，可是，在某程度上面，我们在做做设计或者是做规划上面，我们是否可以利用这样的一个系统，这样的一个非常细的一个系统，把城市的不同部。不同的部分给它给它连接起来。What does this space contribute to the community that this space doesn't? This is a certain profit model in which you know you no longer have the small, the micro. You have large and international. Uh, that in itself changes. The economic system within Shenzhen, where people are no longer owners; <laughs> they're just renters. You know, they're they're no longer owners of businesses. Here, you can see it by the difference in the facades and the constant change. This is people running and managing businesses as they see fit, not within the you know shrink-wrapped envelope of a mall. I mean, it, it, it boggles my mind that I can be inside the mall and not know where I am. <laughs> this is really China, but it wasn't until I went to the urban villages, and it, it's so stark the contrast that you see that this is the real China. I feel like I am somewhere else. <sighs> If I go here. I'm a Dolce Gabbana. I'm gonna go buy a shirt, and it's gonna be the same as if I were in Miami, or if I was in New Jersey, or if I was in, you know, the Mall of America. 就比如说，我们如果看到那个马那个马路对面的时候，其实我们到最后了，我们已经不在城中村里边，我们不知道自己是中国了，在中国哪个城市了。可是到最到对面，我们已经不知道自己在世界上的哪个城市。就是说，我想整个的这个课题可能是更在一个。呃，去寻找到底这个呃文这个文化的根在什么地方？就是说，在这种呃非常非常快速的的城市发发发展的这样的一个一个大大的一个前提下，我们有这个东西，我们我没有那个东西，这两个东西其实代表着都是一种很很一般、很普世的这样的一个城城市形象。对，对于深圳来说，这样的东西是基本上是最多的。我们怎么能做一个取？怎么能做一个取舍呢？就是说，我们可以，我们可以越做越普适，就是越做越 generic city， 就像 cool house 给这个城市下的定义似的。呃，就是呃，但可是到到到了最后，这个城市真的能变成一个怎么样的城市呢？我觉得这个是我们怎么说呢？对于这这一片区域的一个很大的很大的一个问号。就是说，我们这样的一个大的大。I think that's that's how we have to package it in a way in which you 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 compare everything, you compare the benefits, and you show them yes, you're able to get the same return, you're able to get a big return with with the malls,、uh, but here you're also by doing something like this, not only can we match your return, and I'm pretty sure if you go in there and you crunch the numbers, and you look at at a wider time span than just Five years, you're gonna see that the returns will equate. There, there will be a resiliency to this that there isn't in in a, in, in a mall. We we don't want to de demonize the mall. It's a symbol of progress. We we can't denigrate that in any way. But when it becomes the standard, that's when it's a problem. And it it, it it then it does talk about identity because the identity is lost. It's changed. You can't build identity into this. You can't. By its very nature, it is it is void of identity. 就是就是反而如果我们把城市做得更密了，就是把密度提高了，或者把发展强度提高了，可能是另外一条路我们可以去选择。我们已经不能说再用一套呃既有的城城市策略去解决这件事情。就比如说，我们有马路，我们有我我们有我们有汽车道，我们有公交车，我们有地地下的地铁。可能我们更倾向的是一种三维的城市。就是说在，在当当城市的密度提高了之后，在空中的连接，我们也需要一种呃
用一种很聪明的方法吧，去把这件事情给给做好。If if everything becomes a mall, then there is no single identity. There is no there is no unique identity to anything.、Uh, so you know, when when we walk into this mall now, it's you know you have Italian designers,、uh, you know, really clean marble floors, and、uh, I really you know it it it. It boggles my mind because the, we were just outside, and you saw how everybody was still out in the, the spots eating and walking around. But these guys are ready to wrap up. <laughs> They already shut down part of the mall. I mean, this is so. What happens to the city when the mall is shut off? The public-private partnership has to be、uh, has to be stronger. You know, it has to be. A lot better than this, because your cities can't shut down after a certain hour.、Uh, this is this is this is your location. This is where you want to go, and if it, it shuts down at 11, what do we do? Workshop is kind of an alternative practice model that we try to make use of real projects.